Now I'm going to go over how you can um, set apps as default apps on an iPhone and iOS 14. So say instead of the normal mail app that comes on the iPhone, you want to use your Gmail app as your default mail app. What this will do for you if you're in an email or somewhere else um, and you click on someone's email, um, it'll pull it up um, as a composed email in the Gmail app instead of pulling it up in the normal mail app. You can also set a web browser as a default app, so if you want to set Chrome instead of Safari. If you're in an email and someone sends you a link or someone texts you a link, you can tap on that link and it'll automatically open it up in Google Chrome instead of Safari if you've set um, Chrome as your default web browser. You can only set default apps for mail and browsers on the iPhone. So just keep that in mind, you can't do it for any other app at this time. So to go ahead, we're going to show you how to change both the default apps for mail and web browsing. So to do that, go ahead and jump into your settings. And you're going to actually want to scroll down all the way till you get to kind of your third party apps here. And so we'll do Chrome first. So we want to make Chrome the default web browser. So we're going to tap on it in settings here. And you can see the default browser app down here is set to Safari. We'll tap on that. And we're going to change it to Chrome. And there you go. Now your default web browsing app is set to Chrome. We're going to go back. And if you have another web browser um, other than Chrome or something on your phone, you can go ahead and you'll find it in settings here, tap on it, and see if you can set it as the default. Now we're going to do the same thing for Gmail. It's basically the same thing. You'll see the default mail app option. Click that, and you'll select Gmail. Again, if you use Outlook or something else like that, a different email app, you should be able to do the same thing. So now whenever I click on a link that someone texts me, it's going to automatically open up that web link in Chrome. Um, same thing if someone texts me their email address and I tap on it, it's going to open it up in Gmail instead of the normal mail app on the iPhone. So that's how you can go and set default apps on an iPhone on iOS 14 if you want to. Hopefully this video helps, and if it does, make sure to go ahead and like the video on your way out and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future.